Today we're placing Alyssa to the Gold Digger test, and this by far will be the most explosive and unpredictable episode yet. Wait, what is he doing? Being a gold digger is not a crime and is a completely subjective term. Therefore, to avoid any defamation of character, an emoji is placed on all of our targets. I'm really not trying to get sued, guys. What is up, you guys, and welcome back to another episode of Catching Gold Diggers. Right now, I am chilling here with the homie Yancy, and we're gonna be placing his girlfriend to the gold digger test. Are you ready for this, Yancy? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Meet the homie Yancy. Today, we will be placing his girlfriend Alyssa to the gold digger test. Yancy is pursuing to become a professional rapper and actually met his girlfriend Alyssa through another artist. But unfortunately, he doesn't trust her. And this is because according to him, she is always going out, always acting flirty with other guys, and always lying to him about where she is going and what she does. So even though 80% of him wants to end their relationship, he first wants to get that proof and that closure that he needs. So starting right now, me and my team will have 24 hours to place Alyssa to a test to see if she will end up dropping Yancy for another guy who has more money. Will Alyssa do what Yancy cannot? It's time to to find out. I got a question for you, Yancy. So if you can't trust her, why would you put yourself through that and still be with her? You get me? Why not just like end things? Well, to be honest, I got my suspicions. I don't got facts yet, bro. Gotcha. But hopefully we can provide Yancy with that proof. It's now time to hit up our plug and make sure we have the right bait for this episode. All right, guys. So before we give Yokes a plug and call, I want to give a big old thank you to our sponsor, Alliance Heroes of the Spire, for sponsoring this episode. Here's a way you guys should download this game. Alliance combines the best features of role-playing games like Star Wars, God's Gift, Heroes, and Marvel Strike Force into one bigger, more epic banging game. But it's better because, well, first of all, you can get more energy, which means you can play more. Second off, it has 10,000 never-ending hero combinations, meaning that you'll actually have to work and put your brain and skills to the test on this app unlike other RPGs. Thirdly, this game has real-time player versus player matches, crazy raid bosses, and massive freaking guild battles. <sighs> this coffee's getting to me. So in the description below, guys, I'm gonna attach the link, click on it, download the game, and to get you guys jump started, you guys are gonna get 50,000 gold and 50 gems for free. That's freaking awesome. Okay, time to give you the plug, a call. Unfortunately, guys, Yokes wasn't able to answer any of the five calls that I made to him. I think it's because he was either super busy or on the toilet taking a dump. <laughs> I guess we're texting him. For those of you guys who don't know who Yokes is, he's actually this douche right here counting his money. Just kidding, guys, he's not a douche, but he's our plug. And he hooks us up with all the expensive things that we need for our tests. So he's not picking up my calls, but a text message should be enough to let him know our situation for this episode. Okay, here we go. Hey, we are testing Alyssa. Her boyfriend grew up with rapper 6 9 and has big connections in the music industry, so we need something big. Sent. Hopefully he gets it. Hopefully he responds to me within an hour. And yes. This will be one of our toughest catches yet. With Yancy growing up with artist 6 9 and grinding his way to the top of the music industry, we really need something epic. Night fades, morning rises, and our 24 hour timer ticks on. All right, guys, so even though Yancy's on his way to making it pretty big and stuff, remember he's only 20, he doesn't have an exotic car, he doesn't own a mansion, and thanks to Yokes, we have access to that. So we're going to be using these things against him. And Yancy, no pun intended, man, just being honest, just, you know, being realistic and stuff. Okay. Yo, what's up, bro? Yo, Mang, what is good? Are you ready for today? Yeah, I'm ready today, bro. I'm ready. I'll let you know when to come. And don't forget to bring that water bottle, okay? Yeah, bring it. I got it. Okay. We still got a lot of time, so I'll text you. I'll keep in touch with you. So we make our way to meet up with the Oaks who had texted me back with what he had plugged us with. A rich decoy. This is the homie Nick right Hello. here. Nick, you want to tell the beautiful people what you do? I'm an entrepreneur, investor, marketer, and... Uh... Basically, Nick makes bank. That's why he's the perfect decoy. Today, we're going to be using his $175,000 2018 BMW i8 for phase one. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We have a person sitting on this bench, casually just, you know, chilling here, reading a book on their phone, and they're controlling the camera, getting that bench over there. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think that's genius. That's awesome. That's awesome. And as you can see, they clearly have not forgotten about that awesome joke. All right, guys, so this is the bench right here that Yance is going to be bringing Alyssa. We're going to scoot up the I-8 over there to right behind it, and then we're going to get these two cars out of the way, and yeah. So for the final touches, we want to set up the car right behind the bench. That way, Alyssa can have a solid view of it and also admire it in all of its glory. Our prep time is now coming to an end. Yancy is on his way, and we have sent him pictures of the bench that he needs to be sitting at. All right, so I couldn't necessarily figure out where to set up the second angle, and then it hit me. Put it in the freaking car. Perfect! And now with our second camera angle rolling, our setup is now officially complete. So now let me explain to you guys what's going down in phase number one. Yancy's obviously bringing Alyssa to this bench. Nick, our decoy, is going to be playing a jogger. As soon as Yancy makes up an excuse to get up and leave, Nick will make his entrance and begin running towards Alyssa. He will stop next to her, mention that he's super thirsty, and then ask for a sip of water. Earlier that day, I went to the store to buy a water bottle, which I then dropped off to Yancy and told him to bring it today. When Yancy walks away, he must be sure to leave this water bottle behind with Alyssa, so that way when a thirsty Nick approaches her, he will ask her if he can have a sip of that water. And if she says no, 
know he must do whatever it takes to get her to say yes. And for now, that is all the information you need to know. You should probably run in place because, you know, you, you gotta look tired. I mean, if you're gonna be asking for water, like, you have to look A little bit more time passes, Jade takes a piss, and finally, Alyssa and Yancey have arrived. This is them coming in right here. Again, Yancey knows exactly where to sit, so he's gonna sit Alyssa down, and Yancey has the water that you're gonna be drinking. Got it. Everything seems to be going as planned. They seem to be headed to the bench, and Yancey has brought the boss water bottle with him. But then suddenly, both of them come to an abrupt, unexpected halt. We honestly have no clue what is going on, but Alyssa removes her bag and then hands Yancey her phone. Wait, what? Is she taking pictures on your car? <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody see like who, who who said it? Did it come from her? Or did it come from him? Okay, this is honestly a first, guys. The test hasn't even begun, but Alyssa has already displayed interest in the six-figure freaking car. Wait, what? Uh, Why are you like, already interested? If it came from her, yeah. that's a bad sign already. <laughs> Alyssa's little photo shoot wraps up, and Yancey seems stunned and confused as to what just happened. I don't even think he himself expected this. But now amidst him handing her back her phone and then holding her things and now being confused, Alyssa now takes the lead on this date and is leading them to the wrong freaking bench. He's going to the wrong bench, no! <laughs> text him, text him, text him, text him, text him. Tell him he's going to the wrong bench. Damn it! First he take a picture on the BMW. Now he takes you to the wrong bench. What is going on? We have a camera in the car getting that bench, and now Leslie has to readjust her camera. But the good news is that it appears as if Yancey has received Jay's message and realized that he messed up big time. Now he must do whatever it takes to get her back to the correct bench. <laughs> No, no, this is interesting. Let's see. Let's see how he gets her to the other bench. Let's see how he. What does he tell her? What, <laughs> he took her to the rock. So whatever it is that Yancey has told her or made up to get her to go back seems to be working. Okay, I don't, I don't know what he told her, but it's working. <laughs> I think he told her. Let's go look at the car one more time. <laughs> he had to have told her that. Yeah, dude. Whatever the reason, we're not judging. It has worked. Now they're at the correct bench, which means phase one can begin. You ready for this? I'm this ready. is all you. Give it, give it, give it like a minute. Okay. And then run around. At this time, Yancey is now making up his excuse that he has to use the restroom. However, at this particular park, there are no restrooms. So we instructed him to mention to Alyssa that he think he saw a porta potty just around the corner of the park. That, of course, is a lie. What will really be happening is I will be jumping in my car and then heading to the end of the park, and Yancey will then hop in my car so he could see everything that is going down in this phase. I'm on my way, baby. I'm on my way, Yancey. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, I was about to hit that. Oh, Lord. She gonna see the rolly. She said, you gonna be good. She gonna see the rolly. Uh, Everything is going good. Nick is making his entrance, and I'm on my way to get Yancey. There are the boys. I think Nick already is making his entrance. But despite everything going really, really good, I'm a bit concerned that Alyssa might be able to see Yancey hopping into the car, and that's because we don't get as much cover from the trees as I thought we would. Oh, my God. I think that was obvious. <laughs> I think that was obvious. I think she saw you get in the car. That ass? I don't know. It was pretty obvious to me. No, I don't think so. She doesn't even have good vision, bro. No? Nah. Positive? You sure? I'm dead ass. Her vision is like tight fucked up. <laughs> Well, without my glasses, my vision is tight fucked up also, so if it's as bad as mine, then we're definitely in the clear. Nick is about to approach Alyssa, but before he does, let's remind you guys of the purpose of this phase. It's simple. We must get her number. Excuse me? I'm sorry. I don't mean to be weird. I'm just, like, dying. I ran, like, three miles. Can I get a sip of water, please? Oh, Small sure, sip. Sure. No, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, you're thank good. you. Perhaps because it's not her water, Alyssa makes things very easy and is kind enough to give Nick a sip. Meanwhile, back in the car, we finally learned the truth about the picture that Alyssa took with the I-8. She asked for a picture in front of the car, bro. It came from her. It because came we, from her. We, we, no, we saw you guys taking pictures and we were like, okay, who did it come from? Was it Yancey who was like, hey, let's take a picture? Or was it her that said, I want to take a picture? She was like, that's a sexy ass car. I was like, facts. So she's like, babe, can you take a picture? I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, stop fake flexing. That's. Stop fake flexing. I don't fake flex. That's a bad sign, Yancey. I'm going to say it right now. I mean, get a little yeah, sad. No, no, you're fine. Can, you I, can I put my lips on it? Is it? Yeah, okay. Fine. All right. Yeah, have as much as you want. Don't mind at all if we do, Alyssa. I mean, guys, even if Alyssa didn't offer Nick to have as much water as he wanted, the plan was always for him to chug all of it anyways. <sighs> you might as well finish <sighs> it. Oh, Thirsty, son of a bitch. Damn, that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I can finish it? Yeah, you're Whoops. good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, this is all a part of the plan because now technically Nick owes Alyssa either a new water bottle or some money. I really feel like I owe you a water bottle. You really don't. You don't. I have a dollar. I have a dollar. Let me, let me, help, please. So now here's how Nick's car comes in. Nick will mention to her that he has some money in his car, which just so happens to be parked right behind him. He will ask her to walk over to it with him as he searches. Yeah, let me see. I have one in here. But of course, he's only doing this so she could get a closer look at the car. And speaking of cars, Yancey and I are still in my Ferrari, but we're making our way around right now. Oh, you yeah, showing you the car. You, you, you got a duck. You got a duck right here when I make this turn. You got a duck. It's okay. Oh, it's in here somewhere. 
someone. Unfortunately, Nick will come up short and be able to find no money in his car. It might be, it might be in the trunk actually, hold on. Again, this is all a part of the plan though. Since Nick feels super guilty about drinking Alyssa's water, we have laid out the perfect opportunity for him to now ask for Alyssa's number in order to pay her back later. Here's what I'm gonna do. I, I owe you, I'm gonna take down your number. <laughs> No. And and I'm gonna get you two water bottles. No, he, no. like he's like, he look, he he look like he got this though. He's a natural. I'm just, I'm just gonna park over here, bro. She went straight to the car. <laughs> I know she she's at the car right now. Just know it's a part of the test. Like she hasn't failed yet. Okay. Sound good? <laughs> So in understanding, Alyssa allows Nick the opportunity to pay her back. With her now putting in her number in Nick's phone, phase one is officially complete. I'm gonna make sure you get two water bottles. I might even do a whole case just because it's like, you know, it's good water. It's not easy hiding. No, it's not. It's actually, it's more, it's more work than being a decoy. This is more of a workout right here. Than being a decoy, I can tell you that. Nick has done his job, Alyssa's now headed back to the bench, and now I can begin to bring back Yancey to where I picked him up. Phase one is now over, or is it? Hey, actually, do you already, what are you doing right now? Okay. Wait, what is he doing? What the fuck? Why the fuck is she getting her back? No! Oh! <laughs> She's getting Why the fuck she got in the car, son? No! No! Why the fuck she got in the car, son? <laughs> she did not. No! This was not. This was not. No! This is definitely not a part of the test. We never encourage our decoys to do any more than what we ask of them. But then again, maybe we're freaking out for no reason. Maybe all Nick is doing is just showing her the inside of his car. Like, I don't know where we're going. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. Why do I? Why do I just drive away or what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> okay, I guess not. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jay! No! What is he doing? I don't know. Slowly but surely becomes apparent that she's not just checking out the interior. My man, he's driving away. Right, so I guess we'll just, uh... They're no, out. Oh. What's going on? She left her stuff there. Is that your stuff over there? Is that your jacket or your bag or something? That's my jacket. Okay, call her up right now and be like, where you at? I don't see you. I just came back from the porta potty. Say that. Uh, I'm calling. I'm calling. I give him props for it. When you come back... I'm gonna be like, my boy. Hello? Where you at? You left my jacket on the bench. Where you at? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Something just came up. I had to leave. What came up? No, it's just something with my mom, okay? My mom called me and something happened and I have to take care of it, okay? Hello? 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 So just send me the Uber code. Just send oh, me a yeah. just send me a screenshot that you're in the obviously, Uber or something. You obviously don't trust me. Why do you fucking trust me? Granted, because we didn't have headphones and weren't listening in, we don't exactly know why Alyssa jumped into the car. What we do know is that she did, and now she's lying to him about where she's at. Send me the Uber code right now. I could track it. I'ma follow you. Why? Why? Why do you want to track it? Because I need to know where you at. What the fuck, bro? All right, maybe here's what happened. Maybe Nick just took her on a little joyride. But then again, if that was the case, why would Alyssa lie to him like that? That bitch really lied to me. It is barely phase one and this test is done. This is what should happen at like phase three. And honestly, I did not think Nick was the kind of guy to be like, yo, get in my car, let's go. <laughs> What in the world? Personally, I think it's safe to assume that Alyssa has failed this test. However, Yancey thinks otherwise still. I want to keep this shit going. I don't want to catch her looking stupid. It has now been over 20 minutes and it's clear now that they're not coming back. However, Yokes just received a text from Nick. Hopefully it details exactly what just happened. I think Yancey could use some hope and some peace of mind right now. Hey, she wants me to take her home. Hey, I'm going grab some water and she asked me to take her to her mom's house. Something came up. That fits up. in with what she was telling you in the car. But she's still trying to play it off. The texts are broad, but as they kept coming in, we finally understood what happened. Apparently, Nick took Alyssa to simply get her water right then and there. What are you doing right now? Uh, no, okay. Yeah. Do you want to? I mean, we can just go to the store right now and get some water. Right now? Yeah, we'll be quick. Are you sure? Yeah. 
We'll be quick. Okay. Just grab your we'll stuff. Have. Yeah. But here's what I don't understand. If they're just going to the store to get two waters, why would she feel the need to lie to Yancey like that? According to Nick, his only intentions were honestly to just get her two water bottles. I mean, I guess maybe Alyssa could have felt guilty for leaving Yancey's jacket behind. Maybe she didn't realize exactly what she just did. Or maybe she just didn't want to make Yancey jealous. Who knows? But there is a bigger question that needs to be answered first. So, two options. We could keep going, or you can handle this separately, or we could combine this all together or something like that, or whatever. We could keep going with the test. I don't know. You tell me. Whatever you want to do. You tell me. No, I want to keep going. You want to keep going? I want to keep going. Okay. We're going to keep going. Do you guys want to check out or like the new merch that we are rocking? Well, go to UDMerch.com and check it out. For a very limited time, we are giving away prop money with every order. So Yancey wanted to continue the test, which means our 24-hour timer is still ticking. All right, guys, we are in the beautiful Hollywood Hills. We've had a couple hours to decompress. We are here at Nick's home finding out exactly what the heck happened. This has been our first contact with Nick since phase one. Yancey just wants to be sure that the reason Nick asked Alyssa to get into the car were for test purposes only. So she got into the car because she wanted the water. You, you, she, yeah, she, uh -huh. I said, you know what? I'll get it for you right now just because I could. I but it was just for the test. You had yeah, no idea. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You weren't messing with none of that? No. Nah, it was all for the best. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> God damn, this guy's fucking. A handshake now set of the beef, and we are good to move on to phase number two. Let's call her up and let's see if she wants to come over. Hey, it's Nick. Hey. Hey, how are you doing? What's up? Are you are you okay? I don't know. I just kind of you know I ran off, but like it seemed like you were in an argument, and I just want to make sure everything was all right. Yeah. Okay. We plan on executing phase number two at Nick's home, which means that Nick now has to convince Alyssa to come over. I thought it'd be cool if you, you know, maybe wanted to hang out later. Uh, but like tonight? Yeah, like in, I mean, what are you doing right now? I mean, I just got out of the shower. Remember, because Nick already got Alyssa new water, we can't use that anymore as an excuse to getting her to come over, which means that now we simply have to rely on Nick's cunning. Do you, you have no plans though? No, not really. All right, good. Well, I think you should get ready. And you know, maybe we can hang out. Tonight. And finally, after a couple of minutes of conversation, Nick finally manages to convince Alyssa to come. So, I don't know, can you get ready in like an hour or two? Uh, sure, why not? But just because Alyssa's okay. coming over doesn't mean it's a date. This is just a friendly hangout, at least for the time being. It's definitely not a friendly hangout. If I'm inviting some girl to my crib I just met, we ain't gonna be watching TV. We ain't gonna be eating pizza. You know what I'm saying? Yancey's feeling a little nervous and he has every reason to. Alyssa will be coming over to Nick's million dollar home. He has called her an Uber to get her here, but there was a slight complication. I think I'm lost. Uh, the Uber doesn't really have service. Okay, honestly, this complication is not that big of a deal, but I mean, we still gotta get her here because our 24 hour timer is still ticking. You're, you're right here. So just come up and then um, I'll go there and okay. I'll see you right okay, outside. Do you, just, do you just wanna talk to the Uber? No, actually, I'll go outside and get you right now. And that's our cue for us to start hiding and getting into position. We have set up our cameras and hidden them outside to make sure that they captured all the action, but the ones inside were a different story. We figured that if Alyssa were to ask about them, Nick would simply just tell her that he did photography as a hobby. The plan is for us to hide on the side of the house until Nick successfully brings Alyssa inside. Once they're inside, we're going to dash across to our safe spot where we're going to connect onto a phone call with Nick so that Yancey can listen in on to everything that is going to be happening. <laughs> What's up? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Was it a far walk? Uh, a little bit. It's okay. I figured it out. Yeah. Okay. Before the tour begins, let's remind you guys of the purpose of this face. Once again, it's very simple. Nick must show off that he is balling. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> That's actually like there's a rock's house over there. Like somewhere. Really? Like yeah, across the yeah, across the hill. Yeah. Now Nick will take her inside and brag to her some more. <laughs> Don't tell my my dog. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> She's friendly. Her name's Russia. Hi. Now that they are inside, this will be our best opportunity to run across. We just have to wait for the perfect opening. So, like, do you actually own this? Like, is this? Yeah, this is like I own it. Yeah. Cool. It is now or never. Perfect. We have made it to safety without getting caught, and now all that's left to do is to link onto a phone call with Nick. Do you want a glass of wine? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nick will have to answer the phone discreetly because it is important that Yancey be able to listen to what is being said in this phase. That way we don't jump to any conclusions this time. A ghost now begins to open this door right here, which is actually really, really freaking creepy. But Nick now brings back the wine, which by the way, we did not tell him to offer, but whatevers. The tour is over and so is phase two. We now immediately shift into phase number three. Let me now inform you of the purpose of this phase. It is simple. Nick will ask Alyssa out. So are you, are you from LA? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, lived here my whole life. I'm like brand new. Yeah? You just moved here? Mm -hmm. Where are you from originally? Nick begins to spit his game and they engulf into a conversation. We are listening to everything, but mainly just waiting for him to pop the question. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what, what do you do? It's hard to put into like one category, but okay. I do marketing. Okay. And I do, uh, like, have you ever heard of like currencies? Like trading currencies. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. so I do that. I'm not gonna lie, guys, they are having a very long conversation. I mean, he is asking her what her dreams are. I, I mean, like, I wanna be on Broadway. Okay, Broadway. So, like, I wanna do musicals, like, sing and dance on Broadway. What's your favorite musical? Oh, God. <laughs> That's a really hard question. He's also flirting a little bit here and there, and I'm pretty sure Lion claiming that he likes the same exact things that she does. Seriously? No, it's not. <laughs> you don't even know what that is. I, I guarantee you, you don't know what that That's is. That's my favorite, yeah. I mean, like, he just does not pop the question. Like, it's either the wine or he really wants the best decoy of the year award. Which, I mean, doesn't exist. But if it did, this guy would definitely be in the running for it. Mm -hmm. If we have too many things in common, this might just be, like, fate. Fate? Yeah. yeah. Fate, like, everything happens for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> but finally, after, like, two cups of wine, we are finally getting somewhere. Let's just actually go out there. Yeah, like, okay. look at the view. It's, like, my favorite part of the house, so... Okay, here we go. 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 I'm just gonna be super upfront. I like you. Like my, oh. like it's just like a, it's a, like I said, it's an intuition, but it's I just know. You just know. Yeah, I just know. Oh. Anyways, I think that we should just figure out if we like each other, and we okay. should, and we should guess. Wait, what? Did I hear that correctly? And we should guess. And we should guess. And we should guess. Oh my god. What is happening? Uh, kiss. Yeah, we should guess. I, I just met you. He ain't about to kiss him, bro. She's not going to let him. She won't let him. For the sake of a fist fight not breaking out, please tell me Nick is not serious. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like that's just moving really fast. I know, and like the worst case scenario is like you'll be like, man, this guy's actually kind of a good kisser, but maybe it's <laughs> like, maybe it's not instant connection. And yeah. I, you know, I'm okay with that. Do you want to go stop it now? If you want to go stop it now, see, I want to see if she's going to kiss him. No, she, she's obviously no, going to kiss him. Kiss him. She's thinking about it. She's obviously going to kiss him. She ain't saying that yet. She ain't saying that yet. Otherwise, she would have said no. Bro, she ain't saying that yet. She's going to kiss Nick. There's no doubt about it. They've gotten to know each other. They've been sipping wine, and it sounds like she is dead thinking about it. If I could, I would go back in time and stop the video right here and now, but you know. They're kissing. I don't want to hear a make out. I don't want to hear them making out. Oh my God. <laughs> that, I mean, I thought that was pretty good. Like, I think, I think, I think we, I think we gotta like, Tell me how you feel, Yancey. Even though I already know how you feel, tell me how you feel. I'm gonna beat your boy's ass, that's how. You can't do that. I get you mad and everything, but like he was just, he, he was playing the decoy and sure he took it far, but I mean, heck, we saw this coming since phase one. We saw this I coming. I see none of this coming, well, bro. You I, did, you're just in love with her, so you're blind to the fact that she's willing to do all this stuff to you, you get me? She's willing to just cheat on you like that. Bro, it's a 50-50, it's it, a 50-50. Right, and she's been failing this whole oh, I time. I, I, guess, I guess she gave her 50, but your boy is going too far. Maybe he is, but again, like we saw this coming since phase one. She jumps in the car. Okay, sure, it was just for two water, water bottles, but still, she jumped into a car with a stranger. Phase number two, she comes to the house. Phase number three, she does that. You get me? It's like we saw this coming. Like, you can't just go in there and beat his ass and everything. Like, first I, of all, I want to go in though. First off, he's though. probably going to sue go you. In. Second, he's going to sue me, and I don't want to get sued. Like, if you want to confront someone, confront your girl. That's who you got to uh, confront. Okay, so now my question to I'm, you. I'm going to talk to her. I ain't going to do nothing to your boy. I just want to talk to you. Okay. Do you understand that you cannot touch? What's his bro, face? Bro, I ain't touching no one. I ain't. I promise you, I ain't touching no one. Okay. I got respect for you, bro. I ain't touching. No I, one. I did too. I did too. But I'm saying, like, you're pointing your anger at the wrong person. You get me? You need to be pointing oh, your oh, anger oh, at the wrong person. Oh, no, no, no. Trust me. I got, I got a hell of a lot of shit to say to her right now. Before we confronted her, I wanted to give Yancy some time to cool off, and at the same time, I wanted to make sure that a listener didn't hear us because we were a little loud. So I asked Yancy to put on his headphones with me once again to listen in, but I quickly realized this was a terrible mistake because Nick was still in character. Yeah, I knew something good was gonna. <laughs> happened today i felt it yeah when i was running i like felt it like you know yeah me too honestly you did yeah you're just saying that no i'm not okay I'm being serious. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs>